Hello guys, I'm Beata from horoscopesandreadings.com and welcome to your forecast. I believe that this is very important forecast because we are all facing major shift. Uh, Saturn is uh, going home, is going to his own sign of Capricorn and this very important astrological event will happen or will start on December uh, this year so uh, basically uh, we have only a few days uh, and it will start and uh, Saturn will be in the sign of Capricorn until March of 2020. So uh, um, there are a few things I want to talk about in this video. First I will give you the flavor what is Saturn about and uh, what global events uh, have actually happened in past when Saturn was in his own Capricorn sign. And uh, uh, in the second part of this video I will give you your you know a personal description of your own sign of where Saturn will be in your own chart and how it will affect you personally. So uh, first, uh, let's start what Saturn means in your horoscope. You know what, uh, Saturn is a very tough planet uh, and can be a little bit scary, yes? Because uh, planet Saturn itself is, is very cold, it's very tough, yes? Uh, even frozen food uh, is in category which is connected to Saturn because uh, Saturn rules cold things, uh, Saturn also rules old things, yes. Uh, Saturn is heavy energy, no emotions, right? Or uh, uh, these emotions are hidden because they are covered by fear. So uh, Saturn is also a planet of fear. Saturn is also a planet of uh, extreme achievements, yes. So whenever you will have your Saturn during this transit, you can accomplish a lot. Because uh, Saturn uh, in Capricorn uh, will give material manifestations to all of us or to almost all of us. Now uh, Saturn is also hard work. Yes, you are willing uh, to put your extra hours to work hard to achieve something big in a long in a long term because uh, Saturn will not give you anything overnight. Yes, you have to persevere. This is Saturn's word, perseverance. Yes, so uh, you have to be structured. Okay, you have to you know uh, sacrifice something. Yes, Saturn is uh, also about sacrifice. Saturn is also about obstacles and delays. You know, sometimes immense frustration is present with Saturn. Okay, so uh, definitely this transit will have a huge impact, and a lot of astrologers are dealing with it because uh, having Saturn in Capricorn, it's once in 29 years. That's why it is so important. And first I would like to go back just a little bit to history so you will get a flavor what to expect. So uh, we had Saturn in Capricorn in 1959 until 1962 and few uh, very interesting and very life-changing events uh, has happened during that time. For example, uh, Castro's communism in Cuba has started, you know, during this time also Cold War, uh, second phase has took the place uh, during this time or during these years and uh, also Berlin Wall was built, yes, I don't know if you are familiar with these historical facts but it is very interesting and the fourth event which I would like to mention is decolonization of Africa. So really you can see that, uh, that uh, these was events which were, you know, very important, life-changing and very global, yes, so each state was affected or each continent was affected. Now uh, another phase of Saturn in Capricorn was in 1980, 
1998 until 1991. Yes, uh, so um, this time uh, it was also very interesting because uh, there was revolution in Eastern Europe. I live in one of those states, so I was very little, but uh, it was definitely you know breakthrough uh, situation for our state. So this was very interesting event. Another another event was uh, held in the Soviet Union. Yes, uh, because uh, there was famous Perestroika and Gorbachev. So uh, this was uh, this had huge impact on that whole Soviet Union because a whole Soviet Union collapsed at uh, that time. Okay, and third event uh, I would like to mention was that. Berlin Wall was open, yes, so basically people could, you know, pass through that wall again, it was open, so so this was really, really major shift uh, on a global scale. Now, uh, possible scenarios, what can happen uh, this time, because we are back in the transit again, from December 17 until March 2020, uh, you know, we can only guess what will happen, but uh, I live in Europe and uh, there are predictions that uh, European Union uh, can collapse because uh, maybe some of you are familiar with this political fact that UK United Kingdom wants to leave European Union, so this is definitely one of the possible scenarios what will happen during this, uh, you know, global event. And furthermore, there will not only be Saturn in Capricorn, but also uh, on January 12, 2020, there will be Saturn conjunct Pluto, so this is definitely something beyond our control. So, uh, as I have said, uh, European Union can be affected and uh, for you, for US people, maybe, you know, black people will fight more for their rights and they will not you know tolerate uh, some things which uh, they find that are unfair to them so this is also um, one of the possibilities one of the scenarios what can happen during this important astrological transit so on a more personal level uh, there will be definitely uh, some material manifestations when it comes to saturn in capricorn because uh, Saturn in Capricorn is not only important for Capricorn signs, but uh, for all of us, yes. Saturn is coming back, he is coming home, and that's why it will definitely affect also you. If you are Sagittarius Sun or Sagittarius Rising, this video is for you, this is important message, because uh, there will be material manifestations. And for you, your second house of your chart will be affected. Now, if you are a little bit familiar with astrology, you know that the second house is finance house, yes? This is house uh, where are hidden your finances, your stable income, your savings, your values, and even your self-worth. And Saturn thinks that you are ready to handle these situations when it comes to money, so so Saturn is here to bring you, let's say, changes, but uh, this will be rather slow as everything with Saturn, but uh, if you are ready, and you probably are, to rebuild, to restructure your finances, Saturn will help you and bring you results, yes. Uh, Saturn here is all about uh, financial maturity and I know what I'm talking about because I have Saturn in my second house uh, in my natal chart so that means that I, I have it there you know all life long not only for for let's say this uh, as this transit is happening for you so uh, Saturn here might mean a few things uh, it definitely may not mean that you will have a debt or something like that, but finances will be your focus. You know, or take it as uh, you are, let's say, laying foundations for future, for your future. Uh, and uh, that's why uh, you have to, you know, uh, step outside of your comfort zone. 
uh, definitely there will be more of financial responsibility, yes, uh, some, uh, let's say, edit commitments, financial commitments, uh, which, uh, which were expected, yes, this is great about Saturn that uh, we see him coming, yes, so, so probably somewhere in the back of your mind you are a little bit aware about your expenses or about your purchases or something like that so uh, definitely even if you are a person who you know who doesn't care about money a lot or or who who doesn't know how much money you have in your bank account during uh, these two years life will push you to do so to 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 you know uh, to make some uh, solid ground when it comes to your finances maybe you will come to conclusion that you want to save more money yes or uh, maybe you will come to conclusion that y that uh, you want to be financially secure because of your kids or because of your family or just because of you yes uh, so uh, so uh, um, if you are in a job in a stable job your income will not be affected because uh, this is not a uh, uh, thing about saturn uh, it can be completely different that uh, you will get promoted and uh, you will have more money yes but uh, this will be money uh, which uh, you know uh, you have to work for this money yes or uh, it will not be like winning the lottery but uh, you can definitely increase your income with this Saturn in the second house, but uh, you have to put your effort there. Another thing uh, which is important and I want to talk about is your self-worth. Saturn in second house means your self-worth. That means that uh, during these two years you will be paid um, how much uh, money you think you deserve. Yes, yeah, so so uh, if you hold yourself you know high then yes indeed people will pay you a lot of money but uh, if you have let's say self-worth or self-love issues then yes uh, people uh, will only mirror your doubts about you and will not uh, pay you uh, the money you think you deserve yes so this will be also the theme for you, your self-worth, your self-love. So maybe life will push you to, to you know, to, to deal with this uh, issue because, uh, because it is definitely one of the very important themes in our lives uh, when it comes to self-love and uh, self-worth, okay? So I'm done with this video. All good uh, to you Sagittarius and uh, if you like this video you can subscribe to my channel. I wish you a very nice day. Bye bye.